How does it feel to make art for my city? It, it feels amazing. I feel honored to be able to add color to the city that I was born in, that I'm, I've been raised in. You know, I can't really ask for more. So right now we have an, a local artist named Eric Vazola. He's creating a mural along Charleston Boulevard to beautify the underpass area. It's called Color Therapy. And the inspiration was to bridge the medical district and the arts district through a colorful mural that enlivens this underpass. Am I able to speak on correlation between public art and crime? Art is meant to make a neighborhood better, to bring color, to introduce art to even neighborhoods where maybe folks aren't accessible to art. Yeah, I mean, most of my work have yet to be tagged or have graffiti. I mean, we use a, a product called Vandal Guard One, and it's an anti-graffiti coating. It's just like any any clear coat protects the the artwork from V rays, from the elements, but this stuff in particular, it does that, but also it adds a layer of protection from any sort of graffiti or other paint that goes on top of it. So in essence, once the coating is on and it's cured, graffiti goes onto it or spray paint or whatever, it's meant to be power washed off and cleaned off and then the artwork remains underneath. The cement walls that we were painting, you know, collected a lot of graffiti and dirt and grime. And I know the dust and the dirt isn't gonna go away, but it's just meant to really bring more large public art to the area. Public art injects culture into the city and just adds a vibrant piece of, of art to a very long stretch of, of gray wall.